All right, so this is our big flower box that we built last year. But as you can see, we have this like a plastic chicken wire netting and then the squirrels ate through it. So now I can't play anything because the squirrel's eating through it. So we're taking it down and we're building a new one. And so we're gonna show you that here. Like I said at the start of the video, we have had a huge problem with squirrels this year in our raised bed gardens. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss our videos. Like I was saying about the squirrels, I started carrots from seed and they were all dug up by the squirrels within a couple of days. They are relentless. If you have never encountered city squirrels before, consider it a blessing. They are not a friend to your garden. So with wanting to plant and harvest more of our own food, a secure cover was necessary. And Jason had the idea to build a cover out of cedar and sturdy chicken wire. We measured the inside of our planter box and set the dimensions for the cedar box just inside the edges so that it could be easily removed, but also so that we wouldn't lose too much space gardening. Jason cut down all the pieces to create a large box and then we moved on to screwing it all together. Once the box was fully assembled, which took a couple of hours, we began wrapping the box tightly with the chicken wire and stapling it down to ensure the squirrels couldn't weasel their way in. It took a lot of time to wrap the top and sides of the box, so much so that we worked until dark and then finished wrapping the box the next day. Thankfully, after a couple hours of work that second day, the box was finished and we were ready to plant our seed starts. 
we successfully started bush beans, pickling cucumbers, and sunflowers. Sadly, none of our other seed starts survived this year, but each year we learn something new and we'll keep going until we know all that we can. The seed starts were also a great learning experience for our kids since we were in the middle of our homeschooling unit on botany when we planted the starts. Planting your own food really makes botany come to life and turns their learning into something tangible. Thanks so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and let us know if you are homesteading in the city and how you keep the animals away. See you next time.